This is the fourth video in the Book Creator series, and in this video we will learn how the graphic novel um, content works and how to use it so that you and your students can make engaging graphic novels uh, for everyone to read. So we're going to open the app Book Creator, which is already open, and then we're going to select in the top left hand corner the new book. And then here instead of choosing one of the, the top book shapes, we're actually going to choose one of the ones at the bottom, which are your graphic novel shapes, and we're just going to pick the portrait one. And as you can see, there are five pages preloaded, but you'll notice though that there are no boxes on here. Well, that's something you have to add. So here's our cover. We're just going to, um, as you can see, I just went over and touched the media. I'm just going to add um, just a little cover. Um, call it, we'll just call it my graphic novel. Okay. So there's my there's my cover. Now on my first page though, we want to add some boxes so that we can have images and text. So we're going to hit the add content which is the plus button in the top right corner and as you can see now there are five options which are um, only for graphic novels panels speech thought adding text and stickers so let's click on the panels first and as you can see there are many different options of what kinds of panels you would want I'm just gonna click uh, one option here and in each panel you will see an image of a person kinda like jumping off a mountain it looks like and then you'll see a camera if you click on the little person jumping off the mountain. This will open up your camera roll in which you can add images from your camera roll right into your your box right here and you can size as you can see like I'm, I'm sizing I can move it all around. If you want to have the students draw like on a piece of paper or an art class if that's how they want to support you know the classroom teacher you can actually click the camera option and then your camera opens up and then you can just grab some of the students have drawn take a picture of it use the photo if you don't like it, you can retake it and there is that in there the next thing we want to show you how to do is add a speech bubble so you can just add a speech bubble just a great way to show the dialogue that's happening you can resize it you can actually change where it comes out of its mouth really cool click on it and you can start typing okay but for George Washington, let's try adding a thought bubble. Not George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, excuse me. Let's add in a thought bubble for Abraham Lincoln. Maybe what he is thinking. Just you know, click on it, and that's what he's thinking. Now you see how the G is kind of by itself. You can just make it a little bigger. Okay. So there's his thought bubble. Okay. Now let's check out what other options and content we can add. We can add text. Now what I like about this is just how it'll look. So, you know, that says boom, and that just gives this graphic novel a little more, you know, personalization, just makes it stand out a little more. You can move wherever you'd like to. We also have the stickers option, which are just, you know, fun little words and ways to make the text look a little more interesting. You can move that to wherever you would like to. You can resize it, make it bigger or smaller. These are just things to really enhance your graphic novel. Um, the other thing that this graphic novel really has in it is you can actually edit the the page too. So if you click on the inspector, which is the eye in the top right, you will also get page options. So you can change the color of the background. Looks kind of cool. And there, there are plenty of options you could choose from. You could add a soundtrack, which will pull from your iTunes library. And then the editor um, settings are just basically on so that you can organize your work. You can also share a screenshot. So if you hit share screenshot, then what this is going to do is you could airdrop this to your teacher or to a friend for feedback. Um, and then that's just a simple way for them to see what you're doing. So in this uh, portion, we learned about the graphic novel and how to insert content and how to manipulate it. Thanks for listening. Bye.